Your boy Chef Donna, Divine Visions Catering. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. Uh, if you haven't uh, been into the show the last in 2022 we have went to a different kind of format we are doing it only twice a month now so we're doing it the first week of the month and the last week of the month um just because we have so many things going on right now as far as business is concerned but we still want to give you this content we we'll to make sure that you're getting all of these great recipes and these great cocktails so we will continue to do the show just um be on the lookout for times and dates uh that we will be doing it other than that, if you are familiar with the show, thank you for tuning in once again, and you know how we get down. So thank you for sipping and cooking with me. All right. So today we are doing, um, let's just start with this. Weather is starting to break. It's starting to look really nice outside. I know in certain parts of the country, we're still getting cold days. But for the most part, I think everything is really starting to warm up and everything is starting to really feel like spring. So the cocktails and the drinks and the food that I'm making are things that kind of remind me of springtime. So what we are doing today, we are going to start off with a cocktail that is a Greek cocktail. Um, so this is a Greek liqueur. It's called Uzu. It has a slight licorice flavor, a um, lot of aromatics, Big, big, big in uh, Greece. Use it for a lot of different cocktails. What we are going to be making is a Uzu lemon spritz. Something real nice, springy, just mm. <laughs> So what we're going to start with, we're going to get our nice shaker out. We're going to add some mint to our shaker. A little bit of simple syrup. I like to add that. You can do it without the simple syrup if you don't want uh, the cocktail to be a little bit sweet. I think the simple syrup helps with the licorice taste of the actual liqueur. We're also going to add lemon juice. We're going to add about a half an ounce per cocktail. Bam. And finally, the oozy. Gonna add about an ounce per cocktail, roughly. And a little bit more, why not? <laughs> Darnetta says hi. Hey, hey Darnetta. Go ahead and share the video on your page if you don't mind, please, ma'am. Then we're just gonna just kind of muddle those leaves up a little bit just to start to release the mint. Now, I like the mint in this because the mint actually pairs very well with that licorice taste that you're going to get from this cocktail. Next, we're just going to go ahead and ice this down. Hey, Pete, I see you there. If you don't mind, please go ahead and share the video on your page, too. Appreciate it. All right. Go ahead and pop our lid on. And just give it a little shake. Shake it, Chef. Tasha Shannon, Shadonna Hayes, Dawn, everybody, please share the video. Thank you. Then, boom, boom, wow. That looks so refreshing. That's what I love about these kind of cocktails. It just screams springtime. Heck yeah. Next, we're going to top it off with some soda water. This is a limoncello soda water. You can use any kind of soda water you like, but this is gonna add a nice little refreshness to this cocktail. Boom. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next, just for a little garnish, I'm gonna take a nice fresh orange. Voila. Now we are waiting on one more guest to arrive, so that's why I made three of these cocktails. <laughs> um, but you know, traffic is crazy in Atlanta. Atlanta traffic. 
But we will have to show them. Darnell said, this drink is giving me that sneak up on you vibe. Oh, it's definitely sneak up on you. This is that drink you just sit back and chill and just kind of, you know, sit on a patio somewhere. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to introduce Miss Wanda Miller. She helps make the show possible for us. Hey, everybody. Hello, Thanks hello. for tuning in. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, that's perfect. That is a perfect balanced drink. It did balance well. Like, I don't even like the taste of licorice much. Yeah, I'm not a big licorice fan either. But, but the mint helps to hide some of that licorice flavor, and it actually enhances the mint. Y'all, he, he even made a, a mint tea to mix in with this. Like, he wouldn't just muddle mint or try to put it in. He boiled mint to add to this drink, and you can tell. Well, that was the drink. The one that I bought that did the mint pour was for the mass production. This one, we muddled it in, and that really made oh, yeah, that flavor yeah. pop. Yummy, yummy. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Right. Get this out of the way. And while we are waiting for our featured guest to arrive, I will go right into production. So, it's a quarter. <laughs> I love a good hero. Um, I know it's spelled gyro, but it's actually pronounced hero. Um, it comes from Greece. Well, the term Euro and the way that it's made comes from Greece, but there is a uh, Middle Eastern version of it, which is called a shawarma. Uh, I don't know which one came first, but they're very similar, and they both use slices of meat that they have slow roasted, usually on some kind of either pita or some type of soft bread, and usually has onions, um, tomatoes, lettuce, and some type of sauce with it. So both are very similar. Um, Euros simply just came over with uh, Greek settlers. Um, the ones that we get in America are very Americanized, as in most Euros do not actually have a lot of lamb in them. They normally are either beef, chicken, or pork. Uh, lamb is somewhat of a delicacy in those countries, so they don't use it a lot because just like in America, it's somewhat expensive. What I've learned is a way to kind of take some of that cost out. Now, normally euros are made with ground meat that they slow roast, pack it together tight, slow roast it, and then slice off pieces. Buying ground lamb is expensive, but grinding your own lamb is much less expensive. So I will show you how to ground lamb. Need a little help with that? You don't mind plugging that in for me, ma'am? And while we're doing this, um, Darnetta wanted to know, can you use simple syrup to just, you know, mask it and take a, make the drink a little sweeter? Well, I added simple syrup to that particular drink to take mm -hmm. some of that bitterness out of the liqueur. Um, I like to add the mint as well because that just happens to add a balance to the actual dish of the drink. Uh, but if you don't like mint, you don't have to add the mint. You can just add a little bit more simple syrup, but you're still going to taste that licorice flavor. So if you're not a big fan of licorice, I would add the mint just to kind of balance it out. But it's, it's a good drink. I would definitely uh, recommend people try it. It's always good to try different cultures, foods, and drinks. and this is the first time I've actually made and had this drink, and I actually like it. Saquana said she wants a drink. And hey, Satiria, thanks Saquana, for watching. you are always welcome to come and be a guest. Open invitation whenever you're ready. Mm -hmm. All right, so as you can see, this contraption, um, it's a stand mixer with a meat grinding attachment piece. The you don't have to have a stand mixer to have a meat grinder. You can actually purchase a meat grinder that's a standalone meat grinder. Sometimes it'll just sit on your table, and a lot of times it's a hand crank. I like this because it's motorized, makes the job super simple. So we are going to begin by turning on the machine. 
So just to tell you what's all in here. Basically, once you add the attachment, it's a rod that pushes the meat through. There's a blade that grinds it out, and then these holes send it right through. This is like the Mercedes of mixers. This is just a mixer with a awesome attachment. Awesome attachment. <laughs> so just get it nice and turned on. And then we're just gonna slowly start adding our meat. This meat is lamb shoulder, which is about maybe three, four dollars a pound compared to round lamb, which is about eight, nine dollars a pound. So you don't want to overcrowd your grinder. And you want your meat to be kind of cold because as it goes through this grinding process, it's going to heat up. So you don't want room temperature meats. You want it to be somewhat cold. because you can control what percentage of fat you want in it, exactly. how lean you want it. So like for this, I want I wanted a fattier meat because as that fat renders down, it's going to flavor. So as you can see, this is the first grind. Now, I like to grind it twice because A, after the first grind, I have my seasoning. And then the second grind allows it to incorporate the fats into the meat even better so what we're going to do i'm going to pull over my spices and our featured guest has just arrived come on over good sir oh, hey aaron welcome everybody aaron galloway our special guest whoa, tonight whoa. Oh, we got a cocktail early. already ready for you. Shout out to Divine Visions. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Good to see you. All right. Good to see you as well. So what we're doing today, that is a Greek cocktail, Uzu uh, Lemon Spritzer. Greek. And we are doing lamb burgers with fresh ground lamb. So I'm just ground the lamb for the first grind. Okay. We're going to add some seasonings to this. So this is some curry powder. Then we have some uh, paprika. Hey, Stella. Hey, Jack Pullen. Thank you for watching. We have a little bit of cayenne just for some heat. Salt. I like to add a little Montreal steak seasoning. Just adds a little bit of um, mighty meaty bite to it. And then some garlic. Add a little bit more curry. I like that curry flavor with the coconut. Of course, it's Yeah, me too. So then we are just going to give it a little mix with our hands just to try to incorporate some of that seasoning. Turn our mixer back on. Yes, sir. This is a great way to do sausages, all types of different meats. Yeah. No, this might be one of them one hit quitters. <laughs> you should be sent here, didn't you, Shadow? <laughs> hey, it'll, it'll sneak up on you. Oh, this just makes sure that all of that fat to meat ratio is perfect so that when you're making your patties, you're not worried about clumps of fat or dry spots in your burger. Diamond on forever said, hey y'all. Hey, 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 what's up, Diamond, what's up? You don't mind, everybody, go ahead and share the video on your page at this time, I appreciate it. Definitely appreciate all of the support, all of the love. And like I said, no matter how busy we get, we're going to keep bringing this type of content to you just to show our appreciation. Wow. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just want to let it run for a second or two just to get the last little bit set. Voila, brown lamb in a matter of moments. And it's much cheaper, much better, much fresher than anything you're going to get from the store. With this attachment piece, everything just comes right off, makes it easy to clean. There we go. Aaron, if you did want me to take your this phone is the, and attach it, I will. Ooh, the piece that goes inside that pushes the meat through, the blade, and the cord. All of this is microwavable. Oh, excuse me. It is. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one is my one. <laughs> Dishwasher safe. Miss Wanda, if you can move this out of the way for Absolutely. me. All right. Uh, change here. So now, move our handy dandy flame in front of the camera. Wanna get that nice and hot. While this is heating up, Mr. Aaron, would you like to uh, talk to the folks to let them know who you are and what you do? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get his live set up. So first of all, I, I apologize to all the good people out there for being late, for being tardy to the party, but I'm here now. I'm excited with my main man, Dana. Got some wonderful things coming up. Uh, I'm honored to be here. So uh, as you see, uh, I'm Aaron Galloway, Atlanta Live Entertainment. Uh, we got a lot of things coming up. Uh, we actually got a brunch featuring this guy right here. So. Y'all watching this now, definitely Sunday. We we'll have a wonderful time. We want to make sure that y'all come and pull up. So I'm here to see about these lamb burgers. Because he said lamb burger. I said, I'm on the way, boy. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, so um, what got you into the event promotion or, you know, right. let, let right, people right, right. know okay. exactly what you do. Okay, well, basically, um, I started off with, like, a really big Facebook group for a while, you know, and uh, we used to throw, like, different house parties, kickbacks, cookouts, stuff Shout like that. Shout out to Atlanta Live. Yeah, that was yeah. one of the first. Mm -hmm. All these little offshoot groups, I tell y'all the truth, they they started from Atlanta Live four yeah. or five years, like five, six years ago. Yeah, yeah. I got a lot of uh, mutual people that I know that I've met over a long you know, period of time, basically. So, you know, uh, like I said, we had a lot of different parties and events, and I think I kind of did a blueprint, so somewhat to say, of how to run a group, how to get to a point where you can actually make some financial situations happen. You know, it was even funny. People used to laugh at me like, oh, man, you trying to make money off a Facebook group. I'm like, yeah, yes. everybody. Free to right. Right. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do right. with it? Sitting there for free like, yo, no, I'm good. So That's so, why I nicknamed you Admin Guru back in the day. Hashtag yeah. Admin been Guru. Been for a while. Been doing it for a while. But basically, like I said, I, I realized that people hanging out and spending time together, you know, it, it created bonds. You know, a lot of people needed some somewhat of a getaway from regular life situation. They come in a group, meet some new people, hang out, have a good time. And it was just something that people enjoy. So. Once I started doing that, I started kind of curating different kind of events and started getting to the pool parties and doing club stuff and this and that. So if you have never been to one of his pool parties, you are missing out. Yes, they sir. are by far the best pool parties I've ever been to. I've actually uh, did pool for a couple right. of his pool right. parties. Just an amazing vibe. Everybody out just chilling. Mm -hmm. Good music, good company, good people. That's why I really like um, working with Aaron. He's professional, always about his business. Um, right. And yeah, just just always the kind of guy that wants people to have a good time. Right, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a product, you know, they ain't got to make something that's good that the people enjoy. You know, I'm the same way. I have to look at it the same way, you know. Uh, so like I said, we've done a few events in, in, in the past, but I'm out here for this tonight. So, you know, I hope y'all can make sure y'all go follow Divine Vision Catering. I tag my boy Danny and Wanda. Shout out to Wanda World in the building, too. Yes, Gotta get yes. your props, too. So y'all make sure y'all go follow both of them. And, uh, you know, we're going to get back into this get land. Back into this Aaron, land. Aaron, I'm trying Aaron, to tell Aaron, you. your friend, Shanice with Kendra. Mm -hmm. Nika Love. What's up, well, ladies? How y'all doing? Y'all don't mind. Y please go ahead and share the video on your page. I appreciate it. Please all share. Right. Please share. So, now that we got our lamb all patted up, you know, and this is, like I say, fresh, fresh meat. This, you, you can definitely tell the difference between a fresh product 
in something that's been pre-ground. Especially, let me give y'all a little industry secret. A lot of the times, the meat that you buy at the store that is ground is the oldest meat they have. And that's why they grind it, because they can grind it, mix a little bit of fresh meat in there, and give it that color you're looking for. Wow. That is how a lot of uh, stores get rid of their old product. So this, you're definitely going to tell the difference between a fresh ground product and something that you're buying from the store. I can't wait to taste the difference, to be honest with y'all. It gave me some knowledge, yes, and I'm going to know why it tastes so good. And why it's so so you want to start with a nice hot pan, which is going to go ahead. Get that nice patty you wanted about about a quarter to a half inch thick. Matter of fact, I'm gonna move that over and we're just gonna get two of those in there. Why not? Do it, do it. Oh, you can smell that lamb already coming off of there. Yep. Now, lamb is a little bit gamier than you know beef and, and uh pork or any of those type things. It's gonna have a much stronger flavor. So you want old flavors with it that can stand out and help add to the flavor of the overall sandwich. Go ahead and add that right in there. Mmm, I'm excited, people. <laughs> I'm telling you. So while these are cooking, um. Tell the people about what you got coming up. Um, basically, right now we got a few different things coming up um, with Atlanta Live Entertainment. Um, also, shout out to WTKO Radio. Uh, that'll be um, coming soon. Actually, on 420, we're gonna launch with the radio station. So I have my own show, which is called Ball Headed Bro Ish. We're gonna nice. call it Ish because we gotta keep it clean. Gotta but, keep it clean. Uh, we're gonna do that. So definitely shout out to all the business owners, uh, entrepreneurs comedians, artists, you know, anybody who's out there trying to get their name out there. I'm the guy you want to talk to. We're trying to get it out there so we can push everybody. Dana's going to be on there. I'm going to have to do a whole interview with Dana on the stage. So, again, to start off, we'll do some deals. We'll do some deals for y'all. So, let me know if y'all want to be on the show. Don't get chef talking. <laughs> we also got Vibes coming up tomorrow night. Uh, vibes, restaurant and lounge. Y'all can pull up, have a good time. We're having a 90s party. And then, like I said, Sunday, Sunday, please, we'll be at Six Lounge. From one to six with the brunch. So y'all please make sure y'all pull up. Make sure you follow Dana, follow me, Atlanta Live Entertainment on IG and uh Aaron Galloway on Facebook, you know. So how did the 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 radio so oh, yeah. the, uh, it smells so good. The, I, I don't know how how much longer this live gonna last, y'all. <laughs> once some things were was like, we're gonna have to cut real quick, man. Let me get into that. <laughs> yes, sir. So how did the um the radio thing come about? Like I know you you, you do a lot of lives, uh, you talk to people quite often, you give a lot of knowledge and tidbits. How did the radio thing come to be? Um basically, well really what happened was um through networking, to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? Like um I took more of a different approach this time with doing promotions where I felt like I wanted to kind of link up with a lot more people and figure out how we can kind of put stuff together. So in doing that, I met um a mutual through a mutual friend that did an event with me uh had a person who was actually starting her own radio station and we met before she even realized she was getting ready to start it shout out to chelsea speaks make sure y'all go and check her out that's chelsea speaks on id and on facebook um but we had a conversation about her doing an event and she was like have you ever thought about doing radio and i was like you know that's like the tenth time that somebody has said that to me so I said, you know what? It's the last time I'm going to let them say it. So that's how the radio show started. So uh, I'm excited about it. People have been saying it for a while. So now I get the opportunity to actually do it. So I'm, I'm blessed. That's, that's all I can yeah, say. Yeah, you got a good voice for radio. You, you're you good at speaking. So I know it's going to be successful. I appreciate that. So your Thursday event. Now, I know that you you have the party aspect of it uh -huh. that, you know, people come out. They just, I've been there. Right. A beautiful spot. Uh, hookahs, drinks, beautiful people, mm -hmm. upscale, grown-up environment. But I know that you started it for a specific reason. Right, so, right, right. So when Vibes came about, the Thursday night was supposed to be geared strictly to, you know, black businesses, entrepreneurs, um, people who are just trying to kind of get their business out there and really uh, get a good moment of maybe sharing with people, networking with people, talking to different individuals, stuff like that, because I felt like we weren't really doing that enough just as a community. It was kind of like 
you know, we might go out and have a good time, but when it's time to talk about our business, now we're shy and now we don't really want to put too much activity towards it. But on the flip side, most times when people say, hey, we're going to have a networking event, what is it? You got a hotel and somebody's, you know, little ballroom and boring and they're telling you how excited they are. This person did that. It's like, that's not really the, the, the vibe we want to be in. We want to be in some kind of laid back, chill, have a drink or two, you know, maybe let your hair down a little bit. But at the same time, know that we're in a room with people who are doing something. You know what I mean? It, it's not far fetched to ask the next person, hey, what do you do? Or, hey, what do you got going on? So, um, that's really what I wanted it to be, and that's what we're trying to still push for right now. And that's um, something that I know as an entrepreneur is something that's extremely important. Like you said, you've got an opportunity to have your own radio show off of networking. Correct. A lot of the times, we as entrepreneurs get so caught up in the day-to-day -day grind of mm -hmm. business that we forget that that part of the business is the most crucial. If you're not out there networking and talking to people about what it is that you do, finding out what they do and how you can help each other, then you're just running on a wheel. You, you, you're making your journey much harder than it has to be. So that's a really dope idea. And like you say, it's something where as far as us as black entrepreneurs, we politic and socialize different yeah. than others <laughs> you know so we want a, an environment that we feel comfortable i know i've been to networking scenarios where i kind of didn't feel the vibe of the place like i, I kind of almost felt out of place or just it wasn't my scene so with something like that that's something where i know i'm going to be comfortable in and I get to network with like-minded individuals. Right. So that's an amazing thing with the show. Definitely, just one last little point about that too. I also want to be encouraging for people who are just starting off, or people who are thinking about getting into business or want to know more. Maybe they want some experience and to understand that it's okay to ask questions and maybe try to find somebody who's doing these things before you just jump out. Because a lot of people, they have situations where, you know, they want to get into business, they want to start this, and they don't have any real knowledge or background to it. But it's just an idea. When you jump out there, you start spending money. And you're like, whoa, wait a minute. Like, hold on. Like, I need to, you know, I got to figure something out. And it can be stressful and even more stressful when you're trying to balance, you know, kids, you know, another job, all this kind of stuff. So just to kind of give us a place to kind of congregate, talk, and figure out what works, you know, that that's what it's about. But I just seen this come, so it's time for me. To <laughs> so as I say, you definitely want to have your burgers with some bold flavors. So I'm going to start off with some American cheese. Um, you can add whatever kind of cheese you like. American, uh, cheddar, mozzarella. But I like American and then feta. So I'm going to take the American and I'm going to add some feta right there on top. Welcome to Aaron's friends. And Stella Red said, hey, HG. It's Nara. ATL is watching. Avery Small. Thank y'all for watching. If you don't mind, share this video on your page. Please share. Appreciate it. Hey, Brittany. I see you. I wish you was here. Hey, cousin Vicky. All right. So, burgers are just about done. The cheese is going to melt because they're nice and hot. We are going to pull these off and let them rest for a second. The reason why you let them rest is the same reason you should let them stay rest, and that is because you allow the fats and the juices and everything to just come back together. Next, we're going to take our mini peas. Just gonna give those a nice little light grip. Brittany says, I love feta. She's on a diet. She can't have it. <laughs> so just a nice little light grill that'll uh, help to toast up and add a little bit more flavor to these pitas. I love pita. I love the flavor that they have. I love the lightness and the texture of them. And with these burgers, they go amazing. <laughs> hey Courtney, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all share the video, please. About your good friends. That nice little grill job. Just a nice little here. quick light grill. While they're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead. We never got a chance to toast it up. Toast, my brother. Toast. Salute. Salute. <laughs> 
Delicious. Yeah. That's Devin right there. What, what was it called again? It is a Uzu um, lemon spritzer. Uzo. Uzo is like Uzo. one of the main liquors of Greece. Like that's one of their staple liquors, yes, right? That is that is the liquor of Greece. Okay. So we, we, we real Greek right now. Right. Real real Greek. Greek. We real Greek right now. This ain't no this ain't no playing around. This Not is at all. It, we, we, we might as well be over there. Right. And I'll, be, right. I'll be honest, I used to be kind of turned off with the pita bread situation, but I feel a breakthrough coming on tonight. I think I will be converted. I think, I, I think it's gonna be converted, y'all. All right, so now that we got our pita, we have some red pepper hummus. And we're just gonna add that the hummus right to the bottom. That's a staple Greek thing. This is definitely Mediterranean, also Middle Eastern, but yes, they do have this definitely as part of the Greek culture as well. Bam. I ain't looking good, boy. I can't wait. Next, we are going to add, actually, we're going to add a little bit of spinach right there. I love spinach. On top of the sandwich. Add our burger. Now, I have some caramelized onions. We're going to put right on top. Because you just happen to have those. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the happen to happen to have, baby. I appreciate that. Brittany says she's so upset. She loves all these things. Is there a sauce? <laughs> some it's, pickle. It's, it's look like I don't even need no sauce. I'll be honest with you. So and I'm a sauce guy. I love sauce. So for me to say, you know what, I don't, don't put nothing on it. <laughs> so what's that you put on right there? So this is a pickled onion, cucumber, and tomato basic salad. And there's more. So now we have our tzatziki sauce. Brittany, we got tzatziki sauce. Diamond said that's that looks delicious. Bam. Just go ahead and smear that on there like so. Bam. Bam. And there you have it. A Greek. Euro sandwich. So now, Miss Miller, if you could hand me that square plate over there, please. Yes, sir. Brandy <laughs> said, oh my God, that's what I was waiting on. Tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki. <laughs> Show you guys. Oh wow. So we're just gonna set those there like so. Slippery little guy. Yep, there's a lot of things in there. Around is like two hundred dollars a plate. You know? <laughs> Why does it cost so much? 
putting a lot into it. The presentation is amazing. I can't wait to take a bite of one of these burgers. Like, no lie. I wish I had, like, I'm mad that my phone is going live right now because I want to take a picture of it so bad. <laughs> That's how good it looks, y'all. Y'all just don't know. Like, oh. And voila. This is our Euro Burgers. Now, before we dive into it and do the taste test, we normally do a giveaway based on a quiz, a uh, question. Would you like to give them a, a quick quiz and let them know what they can win? Okay, okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer people a bonus type of ticket, all right? So Atlanta Live has three different venues this week that's going on. We have Thursday night, we have Saturday night, and we have Sunday brunch. So I want to offer free entry to two people when a person can answer the answer to this quiz, when I ask this trivia question. So get everything together. Don't be trying to run and jump on Google and do all this stuff. We're going to talk about something that we, we did here today. So, all right. The question will be, what was the name of the second cheese that was put on this sandwich. There's one cheese and then there's two. So, matter of fact, you need to name both of them. <laughs> we'll do it like this. What is the type of cheese that is on this sandwich right now? So whoever, so whoever can answer that question, I got two tickets for you Thursday night, Saturday night, or Sunday night. Now, before y'all just jump in, understand we are broadcasting from like seven different locations. So you might think you were the first one and then we got to go back and review to see which one was actually the first one. Give and some also, in order to win, not only do you have to be the first one to get the question, but then you have to go on your page and put in as a post, I won the Sip and Cook Challenge, and then tag Dana, Divine Visions Catering me, and Wanda. Y'all know, know what's going on, so tag the right people. Say you won on this challenge right now, so got to make sure you do that. And that, that'll get you in, and I mean, you're going to... Like I said, all of those locations are great locations. You're going to have fun. I'm going to be providing the food Sunday, so you know it's going to be good. So we're going to run it. All right. Now, let's dig in. Ladies first. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be too good. We, we got, we got yeah, more. Yeah, y'all go ahead. ahead. Oh, okay. Well, let me just do this then. Thank Good you so much to Aaron's oh, viewers, oh, Steph oh, Marie, man. Tina, oh. Rachel. Appreciate y'all. Oh, yeah. Mm. Man, turn the camera off. <laughs> Avery said that joke of Aaron looking hungry over there. <laughs> hey, no lie. Everything he's saying is what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> so many flavors in here. You got the spice. This is amazing. You got the creaminess. Oh, man. We change your mind that about Peter a little bit? Listen, I'm about to go buy some beer <laughs> and ask him about his recipe again. Listen, y'all, I'm, I'm telling y'all, and I can be honest, with my mans, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 we cool or whatever, but this is a great sandwich. Like, I literally, where, where do they make these at, man? They don't. Right here. But well, they, they, right they, they, they don't make this nowhere else in Atlanta. There's nowhere you can yeah, find never, this burger. Yeah. You can't find it nowhere but with this guy. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, if y'all got an Hopefully event coming it'll up, it'll be available soon. If y'all got an event coming up, <laughs> talk to this man. Get your get your menu right, get your catering right. I'm telling you right now, because this right here, I don't even want to take another bite because it's about to get crazy. In here. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to put it down. That's how good it tastes. But no, seriously, like this is a great sandwich. Like mm. Diamond said, I want one. I'm about to pull up. Just okay. just pick me mm, up one mm, now. Mm, come on, come on. We, oh, you know we're gonna be here. Um, once again, just before we uh, get out of here. Um, you're new to the show. We have uh, every we're doing it twice a month the first week of the month, the last week of the month. Be on the lookout for the times and dates. If you would like to be a guest, let me or Miss Wanda know. You can come on if you have a business, if you have um, something you want to get out there to the people. We have a bunch of viewers while on the show, and then hundreds of viewers afterwards because we do upload these to Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, um, YouTube, so you'll be able to get the word out there. If you just want to come and be 
an audience member. We do have an audience that comes in after the cameras go off. We have I make more food, have drinks. Um, it is twenty five dollars to come and just hang out with us and eat some good food and have a good drink. I would have paid thirty five dollars. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting one of those. I'm ready to pay, baby. Tell me what time, what where I need to be. Man, listen. And if you would just like to be a sponsor of the show. Please like to be a sponsor of the show. <laughs> it helps to keep everything going. Um, you can get in contact with me or Miss Wanda Miller. Uh, we take all donations, um, just whatever you can afford to spend. Um, we greatly appreciate it. And if you want to donate and have us announce something for you, we'll do that as well. Other than that, hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Appreciate all the support. Be on the lookout. Divine Visions Kagan has some really, really big things coming out this year you're gonna really like the things that we're gonna be rolling out with Great. so other than that anything you'd like to say where um, can they reach you just again uh want everybody to make sure you follow us on instagram at atlanta live entertainment llc follow me on facebook at aaron galloway ag the ball guy <laughs> be ready for wtko's ball head bro ish is coming soon on 420 we kicking off shout out to wtko radio shout out to all my homies my friends everybody who comes out to events Everybody who supports this man and one of the world productions, we appreciate y'all. And like I said, this is amazing. I would have paid $50 for this. <laughs> like, seriously, this is a man, this is an amazing purpose. So, y'all make sure y'all tune in and be ready for what this guy got coming soon. I like a plan. Thank y'all right. for sipping the cooking with me. Y'all have a great night. Back to this burger, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now this is amazing. And like the, the, the cheese part, that's what we mm -hmm. did. Like it, it brings you back. Yep. You need that little. You know. mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.